Hello all, uh, we've just come through to Glasgow, to the Glasgow Science Centre um, Somewhere there, I've never been before So I've got to find it um, The plan is that we're going to try out the the uh, IMAX cinema I've never done an IMAX cinema before So there's an IMAX cinema inside the Glasgow Science Centre The film starts at quarter to seven And it's the 3D, it's the Titanic release done in 3D on the IMAX cinema, the Titanic film, 1998 film. Um, but the, and here earlier, it's just quarter to two, so I'm going to spend a few hours having a look in the Glasgow Science Centre and later on the film starts at quarter to seven. The Science Centre starts at five but the theatre bits open, uh, that's open until much later. The film starts at quarter to seven. <laughs> Yeah, say hello. <laughs> so we're going to be watching that. You've never been to IMAX before, have you? IMAX no. Cinema. No. Yeah. No. 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 The one you were at, that 4DX one up at the Renfrew, that cine, cine world's got a 4DX cinema. And um, the IMAX summit, I've never got to try that. I've never experienced that yet. So Edinburgh, if we go to Edinburgh sometime, yeah. they've got Super Screen and there's a Screen X as well. I think Screen X was in the one you were in, but was that Super Screen X? I'll let yeah. check that out, but this is the, the IMAX one anyway at the Glasgow Science Center, so... I'll have a look, and I don't know, obviously I won't be able to film the f video of the film, but I might be able to get some stills or pictures of the inside the Science Center after I check first that it's okay to publicise it on YouTube. If I am, then I'll put some stuff on. If not, then, well, just telling you, we're having a nice day in Glasgow on this Sunday, Sunday afternoon. It's the area where the Glasgow Science Centre's in. It's not far from the BBC Scotland studios. It's on the south side of the River Clyde. I think that's the building there, actually. The usual-looking shape of building, but that, I believe that's where it is. So. so I had to book the tickets online first. It's like a, a time slot as well, you to pre-book your tickets, so I had to do that. Uh, it's about 10 or 12 pounds, 10 or for the film and about 12 quid to get in the, the uh, side centre. So. And the parking was three pounds all day for one, if you're event parking, that's on the email, so. Anyway, let's go and have a wee look around. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just getting a wee bit of footage and walking towards it. I'll maybe not get much footage inside it, but I'll certainly show you a wee bit of the area anyway. So. Watch it. As I say, if I didn't get any footage inside it, at least I'll get to show you around about the surrounding area outside it. But I've always got to check first before I publicise anything. So you get a nice view of the canals and that. So. Ships. Oh. That'd be the like a sort of dock area for them. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not to illusion. Uh, it's quite smart actually. There'll be a lot more of that in there, I think. It's a bit like the Dundee's um, sensations, I believe. I guess. I mean, it's a big tower, but I think you could get up there at certain times. I'll zoom in and hang on. <laughs> It's up to collision, so um, yeah, I believe you were able to get up there uh, at certain times of the year, and I don't believe it's open today, unfortunately. But I'm gonna get a picture of this boat, I'm gonna take a still photo. Oh, let's see what's let's see what it's about inside. So, I'll show you a wee bit of this. And then I'll 
I'm starting to make my way in there. Uh, I like to say I'll have to uh, check with the staff first if they want to publicise anything online about it. I can't just assume. Yeah, I'll get, I've got the tickets, Kev. I'm going to be. I've got the email, so I'm going to show them. Checked with the uh, staff. I double checked, and a lot of take like you know some videos and pictures. As long as there's no members of the public in it, uh, just me and my mates and some of the exhibits. But it wouldn't be a lot of film to film, you know, take videos of the IMAX film. But I could show you a wee bit about what's, what it's like in here. Just just a lot bit of this, a lot bit of that. Give you an idea what it's like in here. Um, so it's the first time I've ever been here as well. So uh, Kevin and Amanda, they're in the, the Glasgow Science Centre shop. They'll give you some gifts or something. Um, and then they're going to get tucked into the uh, Science Centre exhibits and see what's, what's like in there. And then later on, we're going to go into the IMAX um, theatre cinema. Um, Scotland's biggest uh, IMAX theatre. I've never, um, never been in an IMAX film before, so looking forward to that. Right, so I'll take some pictures and videos for you, stick them on here, give you an idea of what, the, what it's like here at the Glasgow Science Centre. Considerably stiffer, no. Power more, although it's probably just laminated. Too hard, it doesn't generate. If I do it too little, it won't generate. It's just got to be just right. So, do it harder than that, it likes it like that. But like we wind turbines, I guess. As the waves are moving up and down with my mechanical motion, that'll be the, the normal waves from the ocean. 
that magnet is moving within the coil of wire with just the voltage, just the electricity. That's the boy, it will be going up and down. Well, that's just the simulator, but uh, basically that bit there will move with the waves and that mechanical energy will change to uh, uh, electrical energy. So this is the top floor now. I booked the ticket for the planetarium for later on. The uh, dark side of the main show is going to be shown at it. So looking out the window, they could actually see the Riverside Transport Museum just across the clay there. Uh, there's an old boat down there as well. And we've got the SEC Hydro, or the O, VO Hydro rather. You can just see it there, that's the uh, side of it there. And that's the exhibition hall in front. Uh, I think that last building was some uh, about a hotel or something, I can't remember what it is, but uh, it was there just back in January for the Monster Truck Show, 2nd of January at the OVO Hydro. So there's a train in there. So let's have a wee browse around, have a wee look around. See in the top level. Um, it's a bit of body parts, I don't really want for body parts, I don't, I don't like the skeleton. No, not for me, I'm more into the, with the power stations where I'm that's my sort of thing. Uh, this is like well, going into the sort of skeletons. No, nah, don't like that bit. But uh, it's about showing all the muscles, what leg muscles you use, etc. when you're doing various activities and pedaling it. Sort of, just sort of goes through where the body works and that. And, Hence the name, body work. <laughs> but um, what we have done though is we've gone to the. I got three tickets for the planetarium. It's uh, like it's simulated. Well, I don't know actually. It's going to be about the dark side of the moon. It's going to show. What are they, <laughs> what are they going to show? It's going to be images of that. Uh, I'll maybe show you the caption or whatever. I'll look impressive anyway, so it's going to be interesting by the sounds of it. Uh, about the dark side of the moon at the planetarium here at the Glasgow Science Centre. So it starts at 4 o'clock, so well, another 5 minutes. Uh, get some eat first. Um, I'll have a look around first, that's the plan, uh, see what there is. Then I'll get a coffee or something, then I'll get there in time for the, the uh, show. It starts at 4 o'clock, last an hour, so there's plenty of time before the film starts at the IMAX. So that starts at 4 o'clock. Yeah, a lot of hands-on experience. It does remind me of the place in Dundee where I live. Uh, this place called the Sensations at the Green Market area. It's, it's just a bit like that, but on a bigger sort of scale. So, yeah, I'll continue on having a look around. As I say, I'm not really keen on looking at body parts like that. It's not really my cup of tea, to be honest. This is the middle section, level four, level two. Uh, looking at the body parts for the uh, electrical bits. I'm trying to get out the back, there's too many people. So uh, see, um, the top set, the top floor is like for the sport biological science. The middle floor is like energy science, the electrical stuff like that. I like that bit, the mechanical engineering, uh, 
of thermal, real thermal, gets heat from the, from the ground, basically, the generator, just with conventional oil and gas. I don't like looking at body parts, so I didn't do too good at biology at school. My favourite subject at school was physics, I got high in physics. Uh, that's my favourite science. I like all science anyway. Uh, the, first, the, the, the first floor, uh, when you come in, it's just sort of like an inter introduction. It's got like a mix of everything, you know, just for the uh, more, quite a younger age kind of thing. Um, the second level, that's what well, I say, it's your uh, just in the electricity and stuff. And the uh, top level, there's only three levels here. Uh, the top one's more like biology, biology, biological science, but the body. Well, I'm not really overly keen on that. I don't like looking at the body glass and uh, components. Uh, of body. I'm not keen on looking at body organs, you know, you know terminals. No, I don't like that. I'm more into the mess sort of thing. What about what's with copyright music? Dallas theme tune I was playing by the way because it was about oil in uh, Texas I was drilling for oil so they played the old 1980s uh, American show Dallas copyright slightly yeah, because there's music in the background so. I enjoy myself though uh, like I say I've got a ticket booked for the planetarium uh, it's, the dark, it's about the dark side of the moon so uh, it's been a long time since I've been to a planetarium so I don't think Kevin and Amanda have been, so it'll be an interesting experience for them as well. So, um, it cost £18 for that. I won't check it. So it should be, wouldn't it better be good? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm going to have a look around here and I'm going to get a bite to eat. The planetarium starts at 4 o'clock, it's back at 3 now, so. so that's my favourite section here. Uh, uh, level 2. It's more mechanical science. That's, that's up. So, um, Right, I'll get on here then. I won't obviously be a lot of following the planetarium, <laughs> but uh, I'll let you know how we get on here. Phase electricity just by spinning the coil, by spinning the magnet through. Uh, the coils of wire placed 120 degrees apart, so that's your three phases blue, red, and yellow, is it? So, yeah. and you ought to read them in the thing, yeah. no, That's uh, about, about three phases of electricity. Red, white, and yellow. Red face, yellow face, and white face. That's your magnets. It's been It's been a oscilloscope. Showing you the different waves. Uh, should be up phase by 120 degrees. Inductive voltage is induced in these coils at 120 degrees apart, so they'll be up phase by 120 degrees apart. 360 degrees for the circle. Oh, it's a generator shaft or turn 360 degrees, but the coils are 120 degrees uh, separated. So the phase, I want just voltages in each of the coils are 120 degrees out phase with, so we get three separate phases yellow phase, white phase, and red phase. And this diagram, anyway. The ground floor, though, that's the entrance floor. You've got ground floor, level one, which is uh, level two and level three. So I'm going at the ground floor, I'm going to get a cup of coffee and back up to level one, ground, uh, floor one for the planetarium. And a nice cup of coffee to go with it. Probably a bit of cake as well, more than me. <laughs> what am I like? <laughs> Right, so I had coffee and cake, and I'm just going away to go into the planetarium now. Um, that was quite good, quite tasty. Just should be through for an hour in there, and we've got another hour and three quarters to spend uh, before the film starts at the IMAX, the IMAX theatre. I'm quite excited to see this planetarium shape, the dark side of the moon.
So we're waiting in the queue. There's a big queue. Uh, I would definitely advise that if you're coming to any of these shows, book them. You've got to book them anyway. Um, but book them well in advance because it's limited seating. And you didn't want to be disappointed. So definitely advise you. It's 18 pounds. Yeah. Yeah. And there's a big queue as well. <laughs> They've never been to the planetarium. Never, never either, either, so. Quite exciting. Wow, that is a screen. <laughs> cool. Right, so the, the, the planetarium. Uh, I can't really speak too long because it's copyright music. That tune that was on was at the, the uh, planetarium. So we've got another hour and a half to spend uh, before we go to the IMAX theatre. Yeah, really enjoyed it. Um, I'll actually go out there because the music will just come through as copyright. It's just because it's like background music and that. Um, yeah, it was like a kind of... It's, the side set was shut now. It starts at five, but uh, obviously the setting is on until later. Ask us going to be on next week at the IMAX. Uh, yeah, it was quite good to be sitting back in the planetarium. That's just sitting back. And you're looking. It's a big dome, a great big dome above you. That's the screen. The screen's a great big dome above your head. And it's projected all the way around 360 degrees. And it was like it was like three dimensional. You know the way the, the shot, some of the images. You didn't need the uh, 3D glasses or anything, it just felt that way. Um, but you get the spinning uh, motion and that can make you a bit dizzy if you're not careful. If you do feel that way, you look down and close your eyes, uh, just to, to readjust. But um, it was really impressive though, the uh, planetarium. I'm going to go to more of these, like, and quite, quite enjoy them. So, it's like Pink Floyd was uh, what the music was playing in that. Um, images were just sort of in conjunction with that. It was just sort of fantasy like images. Um, but the, the first 15 minutes of it was like planets, it was a bit of a uh, talk. Uh, uh, we were giving a wee talk for about the first 15 minutes at the same time we were looking up watching the planets uh, and stuff like that. So it was a bit, a bit educational for the first 15 minutes. But the rest of it, the remaining 45 minutes was like in a music it was, it was Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon. I didn't know what to expect, I didn't really know that, but I was uh, just so, sort of, as I say, all various types of uh, animations and images and that. Um, but if you stare at them right at them, it gives you that feeling you're floating with it, like, yeah. Uh, it's quite an experience, it really was. I thoroughly enjoyed it. So. Um, I'll just see what else to put up at these sort of places like, you know. Anyway, we're going to spend an hour and a quarter, an hour and a half, um, just past the time. It's just, just chilling out, really. I'm going to watch the film at the IMAX theatre. Anyway, I'll probably just, in fact, I'll just run the video off though, because that's really it. I've showed you inside the rough idea what it's like here. Um, and that'll do it. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. See what else I put on my channel. And uh, thanks for watching. Okay, bye for now.